Our next caller is Jeff from Idaho. Hey, what's up, Jeff? How can we help you? Uh, hey, guys. Thanks for having me on. Uh, I really appreciate what you guys do. Um, so I'm just going to give you a little quick background, and that'll help me uh, kind of set up my question. So about a year ago, I really started to get into lifting for the first time. And by that, I mean I had lifted a lot before, but I had never actually progressively overloaded my lift. So I started doing that um, as well as tracking, you know, macros and calories. And between about this time last year and the end of the year, I lost about 35 pounds. Wow. Um, I went from around 200 to 165. And so at the start of the year, I still kind of had a, a skinny fat physique. So I thought I would just keep progressively overloading and making sure I was hitting my calorie and macro goes and just recomp as much as I could. And this worked really well for about five or six months. Uh, my physique was progressing, my lifts got uh, heavier, and my metabolism got faster. But these last two or three months, um, everything just really seems to have kind of stalled out. And so my question is, is this my body telling me that I need to go on a little bit of a bulk um, in order to put on more muscle, even though I'm not necessarily as lean as I'd like to be? Or do you think this might be an issue with my programming and if I benefit following something like uh, MAPS Anabolic? Probably both. Yeah, I was just going to say both. Yeah, I would yeah. say go on a little bit of a bulk and change your workout program. This whole time, have you been following a similar workout? Uh, yeah, it's been a, a four-day upper lower split mostly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, just you know, mm -hmm. for sure. Switching up your programming, adding a couple cal extra calories in there and watch you break through that plateau. Oh, yeah. I would go MAPS Anabolic. Definitely. Do three foundational workouts a week. Do three trigger sessions on your off days. That's it. Follow that, and then watch what happens to your body. Yeah, and bump your calories. That's it. Yeah, bump your calories. You don't even have to bump them that much. I, yeah, two, I bet 300 you, calories. Yeah, I bet you if he just mm -hmm. changed his programming, his body would just start to Yeah, but why not do both, though? You know, Let's yeah. have some fun with it. Your body's going to respond to the new adaptation, give it some extra calories so you really pack on some muscle, which is only going to speed up your metabolism more. Even though you're not at your ideal body fat percentage, this is not going to hurt you. Cool. Yeah. Sounds good. I uh, guess, uh, do you guys have any tips? Because like, I guess since I, you know, I went through that cycle of losing the weight, sometimes it can, it, sometimes it kind of like freaks me out seeing it go back up. I don't know if you have any tips for just dealing with that mental hurdle. Get rid yeah. of the scale. Yeah. Don't stop weighing yourself um, and judge your, your progress by your strength and your performance yeah. in the gym. Strength and performance. That's your focus now. That's it. Here's another tip. How long have you been listening to us, by the way? Uh, a couple months or so. Do you, do you consider us to be experts? I would, yeah. Beautiful. Just listen to us. That's all. Just do it. Just do what we tell you. Just do what we tell you. Very simple. Just try, hey, listen. I, you know, I'll ask you for trust right now. I won't have to ask you again. I promise you. Just do what we tell you. Don't weigh yourself. Give yourself a few months. It's Maps Anabolics about three months long. At the end of that okay. three months, you're going to be like, oh yeah, that's it. I don't. I'm not going to ever doubt. Uh, what these guys say ever again? Yeah, no, I think you're in a great place right now. You've uh, you've changed your physique quite a bit on your own already, kind of doing the same thing mm -hmm. and just simply following a program that's uh, a lot different. Which, if you've been running a, a body part split type of a routine, going to anabolic full body is going to shock your system. You do that with a, a little bit of a mini bulk since you've probably been at maintenance or lower calorie to lose weight. Uh, I think that you're going to see a great response, and I think you should notice in the first couple weeks. Oh, totally. Yeah. Awesome. Where are you at in Idaho? Okay. Uh, a suburb of Boise. Bo in Boise? Suburb. Oh, suburb uh, of Boise. Like Mer Meridian? And it's a suburb of Boise. Like Meridian or Eagle or like we're familiar with uh, that? A little west of Meridian. Okay. Yeah, good deal. Yep. Nice. We have friends up there. Yep. All right. Thanks for calling in, Jeff. Yep. Thanks for having me. No problem. That change in workout programming makes a big difference. Yeah. People don't realize that. It's like, I've been doing the same workout for five months. My body stopped responding. It's like, change it. Just, he's going to see He's gonna yeah. see, oh. He's gonna see great results. Oh, huge. It's going to be uh, like night and day, especially because he's already been doing what he's been doing for five or six months. It was working. It stopped. Well, that's the biggest hurdle is the mental part. Like A lot of people just are a little bit weary, leery of changing things up because that's of the unknown. And so, yeah, so a lot of times as trainers, we just have to reinforce that for them. I, I also, I wanted him to do the calorie increase too, because I bet you money, if he lost all that weight, I guarantee you he's probably closer to a, a running under his caloric maintenance or right around maintenance, right? So he's probably been, hasn't been in a surplus in a very long time. So just feeding his body more while also switching a program, I think he's going to see strength gains. I think his metabolism is going to fire right up. I think he'll see his body change right away, like... 
guy's in a great position. It's the perfect time to do that. And it really will be about trusting the process and not, you know, not worrying about a couple pounds going on the scale because he's probably going to be building muscle pretty quick. Agreed.